Happy Wednesday, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Glazed. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made our way here to Evergreen Town City. In today's episode, we're going to make our way inside of Evergreen Town's gym, take on its leader, Silver, and go after our seventh badge. Now, I haven't trained up our Pokemon anymore, so I feel like we're going to be good to go here. Do you get a dark vibe from this place? That's good because Silver trains the dark type. You'll need to keep your wits about, that's for sure. So it looks like we're going to be taking on a dark type gym today, which is going to be a lot of fun. Now, as I was telling you guys, I haven't really trained up our Pokemon any more than it is needed. I left them at pretty much the levels that they're at now. Now, one of the things that worries me about this dark type gym is that we don't really have any Pokemon with fighting moves. So we're going to have to slowly but surely figure out a different strategy. It also looks like we can't really step on some of these platforms. What the heck is going on here? So I guess I'm going to have to find platforms to walk on. And it's those platforms that are going to allow you to take on the trainers and make your way to the gym leader. So let's go ahead and take this guy on first. Once again, thank you guys for your tips and your comments. Make sure you guys give this video a like. Now let's go ahead and see what type of Pokemon this guy's going to have. A Mighty Enna level 61. Now that actually doesn't worry me very much because our Pokemon are pretty decently trained right now. Everyone's pretty close to around 65, so any Pokemon that are in the 60s going up against us should be pretty easy to take down. I think we'll be very, very good to go in this gym. I've been looking forward also to seeing what type of Pokemon Silver now has. Since we haven't battled Silver in a really long time, it'll be nice to see what kind of Pokemon this guy has added to his team. The type of Pokemon that he switched up. I was thinking about that recently, because I always watch the anime here and there. I'll just see random episodes on, and I saw a couple episodes on, I was like, I wonder what happened to this character. And then I started thinking about that, and I was like, whoa, there are a lot of characters that never get looked back on in Pokemon. And how cool would it be if they could just expand on that and kind of just show what everybody's going through or what's going on with those trainers' lives. Now, now, I remember that they had an old series like that where they would show different trainers. I think they showed some of Team Rocket. They showed a little bit of, I don't remember who the other trainer used to be. They showed a bunch of different trainers, kind of their daily lives in some of those anime episodes. I think it'd be really cool if they actually expanded that and did it for some of the newer trainers. I would love to see what happened to the rival from Sinnoh, those types of trainers, and just see what kind of happened to their lives. It would be really awesome to see that because there are a lot of trainers out there that I feel have a big impact in the Pokemon world, in the Pokemon universe, and we never really get the chance to learn more about them. One of them, which I was thinking about, was Pokemon Trainer N. I thought that N had such a cool story and that the fact that he could talk to Pokemon was so different and so deep. It went to show that there was a little bit more power, a little more supernatural stuff in the Pokemon world. And I thought it was really great to see that. I would love to find out what ends up to these days, what he's been training, what type of Pokemon he's into. That would just be really cool to find out about that. It's always great to think about all the Pokemon and everything that you've had the chance to use in the past or that you've seen. Because it really makes you want to just, you know, keep going with them. That's the cool thing about Pokemon. That you can connect so much to just a random Pokemon or a random trainer. And it really makes, you know, click with that. And it, wants, it lets you know how much it means to you. Because you just want to keep learning more and more about the character. With that though, guys, we went ahead and defeated another Grunt. So let me go ahead and continue through here. I hope that I'm doing this right. It looks like... This is actually a little bit harder to find which platforms they're standing on. So I'm having a little bit more difficult of a time. I keep falling down this pit. I wonder if this is spelling out anything too. It looks like kind of like letters if you really sit there and look at it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and figure out. That looks like it over there. So I don't know what the heck it's trying to tell us. I need to figure out. Oh, my goodness. I'm so close to getting through this too. I think I'll be good once I start figuring it out. Now, at least I know... What the fudge is going on in this place? Why can't I run through that? I, th I thought it was way easier the first time, but I guess it's become a lot more difficult. You know, this is one of those gyms that are going to be a little bit more challenging. And there we have it, guys. So I finally figured that one out. We we we're going to be able to battle this guy, so let's go ahead and take him on. I like these designs that they've set up for the gym so far here in Glaze. They're so weird and so strange and so random. Who would have thought of just platforms not being there? It's, it's almost something right out of Zelda. That's what I've noticed a lot about Pokemon Glaze. It seems to take a lot of inspiration 
from Zelda and putting it, it brings it into this. But the fact is that it does it differently because you've never really gotten the chance to see some of these things in 2D in Zelda that we're seeing here in Pokemon Glaze. So I got to give you guys that. That it looks really, really cool. And I love seeing these types of things. Let's go take down the Zoroark though. I am trying to get to the gym leader today. That is what, our, you know, that's what we're here for, guys. To try to get there, to try to take on Silver and hopefully obtain our seventh badge. I'm actually surprised how fast we've gone through this. I did realize how much more difficult Johto was going to be. Okay, so there we have it, guys. It took a second there for me to figure out what exactly was going on. You know, once in a while, I just don't really know what the heck we're going up against. So I kind of just hope that we're headed in the right path. And there you go. I actually found that one. So it looks like we're very close to taking on the gym leader. As I was saying earlier, though, I think it'll be really cool to take on Silver and see what it's up to. It's good to see someone that you could classify as a little more than a rival, almost an enemy. Turning out to be a really nice guy, setting up a gym for himself. I think that's really cool when we get to see that. You know, those are some of the things that we never got to see. I know that when you play through the original game, you would later find out that Blue would take over the Viridian gym, that sort of thing. He kind of just became a bookworm and just wanted to study Pokemon. But, that, you know, that's something that we didn't really get with the other regions. So, it's I really enjoy when we get to see that. I love learning more and more about Pokemon and trainers and everything. I think it's always the storyline that's what really connects with me. So, I love when we get the chance to expand on that a little bit. With that, though, we took down the Houndoom. We're actually kicking some serious butt here in this gym. It's been really, really simple so far. Chompy's just pretty much been able to take down anyone. So, it hasn't even been too difficult of a gym. I'm excited to see what Silver will have, though. Hopefully, the Pokemon are a bit higher level. Hopefully, they'll put up a challenge. I'm always looking for that. It's always fun. With that, though, guys, we have gone ahead and defeated what seemed like the last trainer before Silver. So, I think we're going to be good to go. Rover's also at level 69. I can't even believe that. That's a little bit too high level, I would say. So, we might have to slow that down. With that, though, guys, it looks like we have arrived... Whoa, this is freaky. We're sitting here on like a moon. Wait. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I've made our way back here. Don't go ahead and step around the moon. Don't don't start running around. You're going to end up just falling. With that though, guys, we are in front of Silver. So let's go ahead and talk to him and see what's going on. I figured you'd show up sooner or later, as I'm sure you're aware I specialize in the dark type. There's just a natural coolness about them, don't you think? But enough of that. It's a battle you came for, and a battle you'll get. Here we go. Rodri versus Everwood, Evergreen, Evertown's gym leader, Silver, and his dark type Pokemon. Let's go ahead and take him on then, guys. We're going to go ahead and see what this guy has in store then. A Hodgecrow. That's already a little bit strange to see. Well, let's go ahead and take on Evergreen Town's gym leader, Silver. It's kind of cool that he settled here in Evergreen Town. Don't think I would ever picture Silver settling down in a place like this. But I guess that's sometimes how it goes. Sometimes some of the biggest personalities and biggest trainers just kind of want to get away from it all and just kind of sit back and relax. One of those examples would be Pokemon Trainer Red. He kind of did that on his own too. It looks like this is something that Silver has done as well. We've seen Cynthia kind of do that, just have her own little place. I guess everybody just likes having... A little place that they can just, you know, get away from and just kind of go and run away to and just kind of hide there for a little bit. Steven Stone also has one. It's kind of funny to think about that it really does make sense that a lot of trainers would have a little bit of a place to get away and just relax. I think that would be nice to have in the Pokemon world. Just a little hometown where you can just go and relax and just kind of hang out. Just spend a little bit of your time there after all these stressful battles. I mean, imagine how hard it is to actually be a Pokemon trainer. These guys have to take care of these amazing creatures be able to work with them travel the world with them it must be a little bit difficult once in a while it must be nice to be able to just settle down back home it makes sense why some of these trainers just like being back in their own regions and just like sitting there at home in their own little houses they don't even have a whole lot there they just kind of keep it humble and just kind of go back there whenever they need to it's understandable that's actually really cool to think about we're gonna go for the ice beam on the high dragon though would be nice if we could take this guy down oh we are so close to taking down the high dragon we're actually gonna have to heal up quite a bit now let's go ahead and use these moomoo -moo milks probably a good thing that we still have them we might as well use them as much as possible before they become a little obsolete which i think we're getting to that point 
where they don't really heal up as much as they should we're probably gonna have to start using full restores and just hyper potions completely you know what i've been thinking a lot about is going into the third region what level the pokemon there are gonna be since we are so close to finishing up this region and i don't see us training up that much more that's something that i'm gonna have to figure out once we get going and once we get closer to that third region just another thing that we have to plan for i suppose because i want to make sure that we make our way through this game completely and it's always great getting to explore new regions even when there's little bits of changes in regions such as this one i love getting to explore those little bits and and changes that ha they've have been made to the story it's always good let's see if we can take down this high dragon though i was saying that this was going to be an easier gym oh wow we hit a crit very nice but it looks like I guess the crit was on our side this time, and I totally forgot that he is going to have some dragon types, so it's going to be a little bit tougher than just having a bunch of dark types. He's going to have a good mix of Pokemon ready for us to go up against. Let's see if Zuko Jr. will be able to take down this guy, though. We have three Pokemon left to go up against, so this gym is pretty much just beginning if you think about it. We are still pretty much beginning this. Let's go for the Flamethrower, though. Hopefully, that'll take down the Weavile this time. It came very, very close to taking it down last time. With that, though, guys, there we have it. Super effective. So the Weavile is down. We are good to go then. Two Pokemon left. And let's see what they're going to be. It's going to be an Absol. Now, I could actually go ahead and switch out. Let's go ahead and bring out Rover. We haven't really had Rover step in yet. Or just kind of jump in and just get some action. So let's see what Rover will be able to do. Now, Rover is actually level 69. So way higher level than anyone. It's almost like we have Daenerys on the team. When Daenerys was really, really powered up. Like 5 or 10 levels higher than everybody else. So let's just hope that Rover will be able to kind of just hold his own against anything. Which should be what's happening right now i don't think being up that many levels is that much of a bad thing especially in a battle like this let's go ahead and take down this absol though and then we'll just have to see what the last pokemon is going to be oh, okay absol you're really gonna try and hit us dude all right absol we're gonna go ahead and knock this pokemon out guys i'm feeling pretty good about this one let's go ahead and take this guy out and then we'll be good to go i'm also excited to find out where the eighth gym is so if you guys know a little more about that make sure you guys leave me some comments on how to get to the eighth gym and what exactly is in store for us there because i'm actually still a little bit confused on how to make our way there we've explored pretty much everything that we needed to i believe we have every teleportation site that we need to there might be one that we haven't found and that might be the one for the eighth gym so that's something that i really need to be on the lookout for so if you guys know any idea if you guys have any idea where it is make sure you guys let me know now let's go for the fury cutter that should take down this umbreon i'm surprised we aren't doing more damage to this guy i thought the fury cutter would be able to knock him out and we'd just be like oh happy go lucky be able to continue on and be like hey we defeated this gym and it was quite easy but once in a while you bump into these pokemon that are just so tough to take down that's why i wish we did have a fighting type move i think a lot of our pokemon would be able to learn that i mean rsp can learn anything so if we do end up finding one of those tms i can guarantee you guys that i will be teaching that to one of our pokemon it's just something that we haven't really found yet i'm actually surprised that we haven't found that we've gone through a lot of regions i guess you could say all of the donut region pretty much all of johto and we have yet to find a fighting type tm that is Oh, you know, another fight TM that isn't Focus Punch. Because Focus Punch, it's not that good, honestly. It's kind of a little bit annoying to use. So it'd be nice if we could find Brick Break or something of that sort. That would make it really, really awesome and make all of this much easier on us. Because whenever we go up against some Dark types, luckily we had Chompy here to handle them. We have a little bit of a difficult time. That's also another reason why I'm happy that we have an Umbreon on our team. Because Umbreon's such... A poke it's the type of Pokemon that can be really, really frustrating against certain types of teams. So that's why I'm really happy that we have it. And you know what? This Pokemon is actually being one of those difficult Pokemon to go up against for our team. Oh my goodness. He's just going to keep healing himself. I'm just going to keep going for the Fury Cutter. I mean, what else do we have to do up against this guy? We could just hope that the Fury Cutter will be able to, you know, just knock it out. So let's go ahead and come on, man. Can you stop going for that Umbreon? Just... Just relax, dude. You're the last of five Pokemon. Just let our guy take you down. All right, come on. Come on, come on. You know, we could really use a good crit right now. Almost, almost. All right, hopefully after this, we will be able to take this Umbreon down. This thing keeps healing itself, though. So what the heck am I supposed to do here? 
Just wait until he runs out of wishes and then just hope that we're able to hit hard enough to take it down. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do it this time, guys. We're going to go for the Fury Cutter. Hopefully, that will knock it out this time around. Come on. There we have it. Super effective. Umbreon has gone down. And with that, guys, we gained a bunch of XP. We defeated Leader Silver. I know how to take defeat gracefully. Here's your badge. With that, guys, we got 2,600 for winning. And we have obtained the Knight Badge. That is the seventh out of eight badges here in the Johto region. One more to go. We also obtained TM46. Let's go ahead and check out what this TM is. Could be something that helps us out. Okay, so that's Thief. I guess that TM is not really going to come in too handy for us. You better kick the Johto League's butt. Seeing you and Shelly at it reminds me a lot of the old days when I used to travel. I wonder where that Ethan ended up anyway. So I suppose he's talking about gold. So that's kind of cool to see that Silver still remembers his old rival. With that though, guys, we are done here for today. As I said, leave me some tips and some comments first next time. Make sure you guys give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.